Hi everyone, I'm Amy Booth and thank you for joining us on the Blue Rose Kennels YouTube channel. Today's video is about wearing safety masks at the upcoming dog shows. You won't want to miss these tips and you guessed it, we have another giveaway. This one is offered by Linda McCartney Roy of Distinctive Bedding by Creature Comfort, so stay tuned. for our safety and the safety of others. We need to consider our family, our friends, our fellow exhibitors, the judges, the superintendents, and so on and so on. Sure, masks can be uncomfortable. They might even be hard to breathe through. But if it's what we need to do to safely get back to dog shows, let's get on board and stop complaining as we're hopeful that the benefits will outweigh the discomfort. That goes for all the AKC COVID guidelines that have been recently introduced. If you're not currently aware of what they are, we'll have them linked in the description box below. We challenge everyone to get creative and figure out ways to conform to these new guidelines. And let's volunteer to help the show chairman and women, as well as their committees, whenever we have free time at the shows. There's a lot we can do and still adhere to the social distancing policies. After doing a bunch of research on the recommendations of the CDC and the World Health Organization, and we'll include their links down below as well, we've compiled a list of tips on wearing masks this summer at the dog shows. So let's get started. Tip number one, both your mouth and nose must be covered by your mask. and you should pinch your mask over the bridge of your nose when you first put your mask on. It should fit comfortably and snugly over the sides of your face with no gaps between your skin and the mask. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth while putting your masks on. And of course, wash your hands prior to putting your mask on and immediately after your mask's removal. Tip number two, have a spare mask or two ready in case your first mask gets wet or sweaty. A mask will do you no good once it's wet. It will be unable to screen out the coronavirus to protect you and it will be even harder to breathe through. That being said, never reuse a single use mask. And when you store a reusable mask, make sure you fold the side that touches your skin on the inside of the fold. Always touch just the loops or the strings of the mask and not the actual mask with your hands other than when you pinch the nose. Reusable masks should be laundered regularly. Tip number three, if you're having a hard time breathing, make sure you go back to your setup to safely remove your mask and give yourself a break. Make sure you stay six feet from anyone else and carefully remove your mask. In general though, if it isn't an emergency, resist the urge to remove your mask. Tip four, stay hydrated and make sure you drink plenty of water. Dizziness or a racing heart are signs of heat exhaustion. If you're feeling these symptoms, get out of the heat immediately Try to remain six feet away from anyone else to remove your mask safely and absolutely seek medical help. Tip number five, keep your setup clean, even more clean than normal. Bleach cleaning supplies are the best to use and wipe down your cell phones, leashes, tack equipment, anything that you touch on a regular basis. These items of high contact must be kept extremely clean especially now more than ever. Now it's time for some bonus tips. Tip number six, make sure you wear plenty of sunscreen so that you don't get a mask suntan line or sunburn and make sure you put on plenty of moisturizer, whatever moisturizer you like, 
because that mask is gonna irritate the skin on your face and it is gonna rub a little bit. So keep extra moisturizer handy. And our final tip of the day are for all of you who wear glasses. We have a, a quick and easy tip that we hope works for you. It involves just a simple Kleenex or four squares of toilet tissue. You're gonna take your Kleenex like so and fold it over like so and then in the square like so <laughs> and then you're gonna fold it one more time over like this and then you're gonna use it carefully with clean hands over the bridge of their nose area of your mask and then put it over your face with the glasses, no fogging. And the th same thing goes for the toilet tissue. You just take a um, four squares, fold it all up into one, and then fold that into three, or whatever feels comfortable to you. Lay it across the top of the mask the same way, and then put it on. Again, all of these are just ideas. They're tips, tricks. We hope that they're useful to you. If you have any of your own tips or tricks for wearing masks more comfortably, please put them in the comment box down below. Add to everyone's experience. Let's see if we can't come up with some ideas that make it a little bit more comfortable because that's the idea of this, is just to make things a little bit more pleasant, a little more enjoyable. Well, that wraps up our tips for preparing for masks at the upcoming dog shows. Good luck to all those attending shows this weekend. Be safe and we hope to hear good things. And now to our next free giveaway. We'll have four different winners and a random spin to win draw this Sunday, June 27th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on our Blue Rose Kennels Facebook page. We'll be doing it live. To enter, you must be subscribed to this channel, like this video, and write mask in the comment box down below along with any other note that you'd like to leave for us. It's that simple, three little steps. What will we be raffling? Four beautiful handmade masks done by Linda McCartney Roy of Distinctive Bedding by Creature Comfort. Feel free to check out her Facebook storefront where she has lots of different dog supplies, including crate covers, crate pads, whelping box materials, and of course, these beautiful masks in different colors and styles. The best part is they're only $10, including shipping. You can't beat that deal. We've also added a link to her page on our Blue Rose Kennels website store page. For now, we've put it under the healthcare tab because of the masks, but eventually we might be moving it to a vendor page that includes all of our favorite vendors. Also on our healthcare page, some supplies that you might want to look at from Amazon. We have a whole host of cleaning supplies if you need to stock up before the shows, as well as some additional disposable masks and face shields and even a pr product that Phil is testing out. I'll insert a picture of him right here and we'll let you know if he likes it. It's a cooling mask, but we're not yet sure. He's testing it and we'll have results for you in an upcoming episode. Just so you know, Linda's masks can have the disposable masks fit right inside of them like this picture here. We hope that you support Linda and all of our small businesses, and we thank her for supplying us these raffle items. Don't forget to check out all the information in our description box down below. And once again, if you like our content and want us to continue, please subscribe to our channel, like this video, ring the bell to be notified of any new uploads, and share this with any dog clubs, family, or friends anyone you think might like it. Let's see if we can't get to 1,500 subscribers by the end of the month. Oh yeah, don't forget tomorrow night at 7 p.m. on our Facebook Live, 
we'll have our winner of our JL Sharp Shop Scissors on that raffle. If you want to enter, there's still time. Check out last Friday's episode called Combining All Lessons to Perfect the Stack. We'll see you in our next video. You should pinch the mask over the bridge of your nose when you first push and you should pinch your mask over the bridge of your nose when you first put your mask on.